GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. Hey, hello, my name is Peter Virginia Olympio at House of Virginia Rottweiler, Kenya, Ghana. I live in Kasawa, and I'm telling you, you should keep watching GH Dog TV. They have the best things coming up for you from dog events to. No, let's put it together. So, dog events. That's, uh, sorry, there's some dogs back in there. I had, I had to be distracted, don't worry. So, keep watching GH Dog TV. They are the best. This is your favorite channel, GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. And my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. If this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop yet another amazing dog content. Trust me, today's show is going to be very interesting, very entertaining, very educative. Be be before I, uh, I introduce my guest, on today's show let's take a look around i just want you to have a look at the environment at the moment yeah 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 yes 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 you can see lots of dogs right here today i'm at a kennel yes I'll, I'll i'll introduce the boss man himself right now and tell you which kennel i'm at right now but this program is proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and poppy milk if you are in need of the right dog feed for your dogs just link up with them their number is 0244 and you can also follow us on all of our social media handles at gh dog blogger on facebook and instagram and as i'm speaking to you right now we are also new on twitter we have a twitter account right now so you can also follow us on twitter at gh dog blogger if you also want to contact us you want us to visit your kennel your pet shop whatever it is pick our number on our screen right now today i don't want to bore you with much talk so don't go anywhere stay tuned as we bring to you more details on today's episode on gh dog tv my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger welcome back yes just as i told you today i'm at a kennel the name of this kennel is richie's kennel and the location is bokum estate in the ashanti region of ghana kumasi we are still in kumasi we are touring around and trust me this is the channel where you get to see all of your favorite kennels the kennels you know of the kennels you don't know of this channel is for dog lovers we get interactive with dog lovers dog trainers come on just subscribe if you are new now without um, wasting much of your time let me introduce my guest for today's show boss welcome to the show uh, thank you thank you it's it's nice meeting it's nice meeting you once again it's nice meeting you too i think we've been we've been chatting most of the time but this is actually the first time we are getting time to actually talk yeah 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 i think so yeah. nice one um before we proceed um with everything checking out the dogs and talking about everything i want you to um, introduce yourself to my lovely viewers your name a little bit of your background yeah just anything you like to say Oh, okay. Well, I'm Rich Mono Saint Manu. That's why my kennel is Rich's Kennel. And uh, I went to Cape Poly. Yeah, I studied fashion and textiles. But I decided to do breeding instead of using the fashion. Because I love dogs. Dogs is part of me. I've always loved dogs since my infancy. So I decided to do dogs. Yeah. Wow, we will get to that part. I'm very interested in the fashion part and the dogs. I always like it when I meet people who have um, like a background that's different from the dogs and then they do it. We'll really talk about it. But then let me start from the scratch. Like let's start from the scratch. You see, everybody has their stories as to how they became dog lovers. Some people said they watch movies. Some said they saw some dogs around and stuff like that. So I'd like to ask you, Richie, um, since I'm here with you right now, how did this whole th how did you become a dog lover well when i was young i was raised by my grandparents and there were dogs around us so practically every member of my family 
love animals, not only dogs. Me, for instance, I, I love a lot of animals, but I choose to breed dogs instead of any other animal. So I was raised alongside with dogs and a lot of animals. So breeding has been part of me, but I started a professional breeding about let's say 18 to 19 years back 18 to 19 years back okay let me let me take it one at a time um you you said you were with your grandparents and you were surrounded by animals like do you remember which age you were specifically like around which age like i started living with my grandma when i was like seven months she picked me from my mom when i was seven months so i would say from the seven months till now I've been with animals because the animals used to live in the same house with us and the dogs, the cats, they enter our room and everything. So that's why I'm saying I was raised alongside animals because the cat can come on lie on the bed whilst I'm there. So that's why I say I was raised alongside animals. It's, it's interesting because as I came here, I've even seen some cats around. I think they've, they've gone... Um, yeah back there inside yeah 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 and wow it amazes me so you had dogs and cats and which other animals again pigs sheep goats and there was a poultry farm in our yard too same house yeah aside these um pets and farm animals you also like the wild they like the wildlife part i like it but i haven't gotten the opportunity to experience any yet but I have plans for that too, so gradually we will get there. Wow! So let me let me pose this question to you right now, lovely viewers. I'm I'm really loving the conversation right now. Trust me, today's episode is going to be very beautiful. Look at the angle is coming from somebody who has been surrounded by animals, bro. Let me ask you. Um, aside all of these animals that were around you in the house, if I'm to ask you to tell me about, let's say your three favorite animals. Let's go. Let's go into the forest. Let not uh, don't let us talk about those at home. Like say, um, animals in the wildlife. Top three. Which ones you like? Top three. I'll choose the tiger, the lion, and maybe the eagle. The eagle, the lion, and the tiger. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this, this is beautiful. Then someday I won't be surprised if you are owning one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is going to be even very soon. Very soon. Very soon. You like to own either an eagle or a tiger or like. Yeah, yeah. Very soon. The eagle, I've talked about it, but uh, I, I need some space for it. That's why it hasn't been here yet. But very soon. Very, very soon. Have eagles here yeah i'll have eagles here Why, what's so special about the eagle well i love them okay. i love them it's like giving a reason to love something that means you don't love the thing okay so what if the the reason is no more in existence that means it's more of unconditional yeah that's it that's it it's not based on any condition you just love the i just love the ego Richie, I'm, I'm loving your conversation. I'm loving your conversation right there. He says very soon he's going to own an, either an eagle. He has even made plans for the eagle. So it's either the eagle, the tiger, or the lion. Wow, this is beautiful, bro. So um, we got to the point where you were surrounded by animals in your house. So um, at what point did you get your, your, your first dog? And how did it happen? Okay. Uh, I had two local dogs. That time I named them Bob Mali and Lucky Dupe. Yeah, Bob Mali, like, why are you a reggae lover? Huh? Yeah, I love reggae. I love reggae. And they were very wild. That's why I named them. They were females. Yeah. So that was when I had my own dog. But before that, we had a dog um, named Hoop. Yeah, that was for my grandfather. Yeah, so my dog, like officially buying my own dog was Bob Marley and Lucky Dupe. And um, if you can recall, which year was it and which amount did you get these mongrels? And if you can really recall. <laughs> I, 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 I can't, I can't. But like I was saying, being like 18 to 19 years back, I was very young. I was very young, yeah. 
wow 18 to 90 years by getting lucky dube and bob mali so do you name all of your dogs after reggae stars because i think wherever peter tosh is may you so rest in peace he must be disappointed because you didn't name a dog after him normally i name my dogs about um over people that i love mm-hmm. yeah so if you come into my kennel, you know, i have luca modric here okay. i have kobe here mm-hmm. i have mufasa here mm-hmm. i have david here mm-hmm. i have kiki um i have eric i have esther i have Boatma, wow. i have buffon i have stephanie i have happy i have gospel uh-huh. yeah a whole lot a whole lot wow um, I, my, um he, stephanie he's mentioned lots of names he names dogs after people he loves and you can see this beauty right here wow lovely lovely check him out wow and there are some beautiful toy dogs lovely viewers we are going to check them all out very very soon but we are still getting up close with richie right here and let me tell you that if you just tune in this is gh dog tv on number one dog tv for all dog lovers and if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop yet another amazing dog content and this program is proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and poppy milk if you want a dog feed for your dogs say no more just pick their number 0244-820-350 so bro um we will continue with the conversation you mentioned something that you officially got your dogs the mongrels around 19 to 20 years back that's in the year 2000 even i whenever somebody talks about the early 2000s what my mind cast back is um the korea japan world cup <laughs> <laughs> so at that time they haven't they hadn't even played the korea japan World Cup for brazil to win uh, but i had my dogs then you got your dogs right there so i'm sure you got them as a just a dog lover so um when did this breeding thing breeding aspect set in well when i got them i didn't know anything about breeding i didn't even know that we saw them as in business or something i just loved dogs so i got them so when they came on heat i knew a guy in my area that i was living with my grandma so the guy told me i should pay like 30 cities for him to use his bubble to mate it for me and i was like wow wow that time that time somewhere 2000 yes yeah, somewhere 2000 2001 so i managed to get the money and i paid him so and the the saddest thing is the first dog that i managed to mate with the guy's babu after mating it i left it in the house i went out when i came back i saw a local dog too had mated it wow after you had paid the 30 cities after i paid the 30 it was 300 000 it wasn't small money yeah yeah the year 2000 wow 2001 so i really cried i even gave the dog out so that was bob Mali. yeah so lucky dupe 2 came on hit and i went to pay 30 cities again and the guy did it for me so when i came back i kept the dog in my room when i'm going out the dog will be in my room and i'll lock the door when i come home then i release it then we will be walking around and that time too everywhere i go if possible i go with my dogs yeah so that was what actually happened and what happened where did um did she have the litter yeah she had six puppies i sold one for that time was it 60 cities or something 60 or 50 cities for a puppy so after i sold them I got myself a German Shepherd, pure breed German Shepherd, yeah. And that was Amisty. That was the name, Amisty, yeah. Amisty, Patapa, Amisty, oh, <laughs> this is Amisty. That time there was a man in my area called Amisty, and I really liked him, so I named the dog after him, yeah, Amisty. Yeah. Wow, he started with a German Shepherd, but I've not seen any German Shepherd yet. Let me ask that question before I actually even forget. I've seen the toy dogs and the bull mastiffs and the neapolitan mastiff so um, why are they no german shepherd what happened well i believe as time goes on or in everything as you get more knowledge about it 
you get to know what to do or what to do better or where you really fit yeah so that's it so i went into um neopolit i've been breeding a lo- whole lot of different dogs i've owned um english mastiff before pitbull german shepherd neapolitan boabu and now boo mastiffs also here these are also here so um if I, I'm, I'm to ask you um your experience with some of these dogs which one would you choose as your favorite we had a currently i love the boom okay 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 i'll let us get more into that i don't i don't want to let us get to i really let us have time to talk about it but then let me pick up from the amnesty part so after getting amnesty what happened again which other dog did you get again which breeds and stuff i got amnesty amnesty littered six puppies i sold them i got sierra it was also a german shepherd uh, i got sierra sierra never li- uh, littered for me and i got um uh, this dog lucky dupe again it was a german shepherd male yeah, very wild, very, very aggressive. Extremely wild. I got that guy. I was using him for mating and stuff. So um, a man came and bought all my German shepherds and the puppies. So that time I, I, I really got money. That was when I knew Charlie, I have to take the thing serious. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That time he bought every puppy for like. 60 cities and the parents for 150 cities like that time 1.5 yeah it was very huge you hear the point you could see that those times when you hear the point you could see that it was money yeah yeah so i got like 1200 out of the whole thing around that figure 1012 million old ghana cities around which year around 2003 2004 wow 12 million as at that time wow but then i'm not sure that time you had even gone to tertiary no 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 no. that time i was like in ghs2 or something ghs2 wow jss2 and he sold his dogs and got 12 million old ghana cities 1200 wow so how was the feeling like a young guy a teenager selling dogs and having them you know what my other sister even told me to give the money for her to keep for me i said no i keep it under my pillow when i'm sleeping <laughs> when i'm going out that time i had some baggy shorts the money will be in my pocket and the way i'll be walking charlie <laughs> it was a different it was a different vibe altogether it was a different feeling like i was feeling on top of the world that time wow then i'm sure even when you were going to school you had it in your mind that even after everything you were still going to breed well yeah yeah i had it in like i never thought of living without animals not only dogs living without because even that time i had like seven sheep and 13 goats that time that time yeah and i had techies too and i had um um rabbits that time yeah wow so it's not just about dogs you had wow this is this is very beautiful so Mm -hmm. it's even now that i'm keeping only dogs Mm -hmm. yeah it's even now but sooner or later you will see me with a whole lot of animals Mm -hmm. a whole lot the eagle the eagle uh, the rabbits Mm -hmm. like a whole lot of sheep the pigs yes i'll go back there because that is me Mm -hmm. so i have to be me in order to be happy a real animal lover yeah it runs in my family not only me family of animal lovers that is it. whenever i come close to animal lovers i i become very because myself i am also a big animal lover coming up from my child i used to watch the i think gtv used to have this animal kingdom yeah. and whenever i saw that program bro I, I, I really love so whenever I come close to people who are not just dog lovers but animal lovers I really love it and don't you see this um, part when animal lovers or dog lovers meet and they're having 
a conversation. You see that when somebody is out there, is not an animal lover. You see that reaction from yeah, yeah. It's so weird. Come one similar. Like there is a lady. I, I have a certain friend mm-hmm. where we meet and we are talking about dogs. He normally comes with a uh, female, um, his female friend. The girl be like, "No, they share be animal come one sem. Any one sem as in some me did not move. Move come one one sem do do." You be full You see, it's always weird when you're not. But when you come to understand these animals and you love them, trust me, it's a different vibe altogether. That's why I always tell you that. Even if you're not a dog lover, after watching a video on our channel, you're going to turn out to be a massive dog lover. Bro, talking about the lady, it, it draws my attention to a comment somebody made on this channel. I think everywhere I go, I want to ask that question. Um, there's this guy, Justice Flip. I don't know if you know him, Flip. I know him. I know him. Yeah. He made a comment. He said that um, losing a dog is worse than a breakup. Like, I want to really, everywhere I go, I want to ask that question. I want to know people's reactions on it. So, let me ask you, is losing a dog worse than a breakup? Well, it depends. It depends on the person. It depends. Mm -hmm. But I will agree with him. I have passed through breakups Mm -hmm. and I've lost dogs too. Like, both have been hurt, but I think losing a dog it's more painful because dogs are loyal Mm -hmm. extra loyal Mm -hmm. like when they say they love you 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 just look at this look at that look at them all around you yeah yeah and when a woman is around if you are broke charlie Uh she's gone Uh Uh every little thing she will bore but dogs beat it like right now it will just turn around and come back to you because it feels you are the only one or the only thing that is it you see so me i prefer dogs i would choose a dog over a woman on any day i even i posted it yesterday on my whatsapp status and oh really yeah yeah, yeah. people were asking me a whole lot of questions i said yeah that is it i've not been dating for like some couple of years now because of dogs if a woman comes and you're not okay with my dogs you will go and leave them but if you come and you're okay if you love me you have to love what i do because this is what is going to put food on the table even aside that i love them so you have to play along that's it so you side with flip that um, losing a dog is you stand with him yeah i stand with him i totally agree with him losing a dog is painful more than a breakup wow interesting lovely viewers i throw this question to you if you've had a dog before how and you lost the dog i'm not trying to remind you of your sad moment or something of that sort but there's a topic that <laughs> we've been we've been talking about lately and i even we've even posted it on our social media pages and there, there have been lots of reactions and comments coming in so i'm also posing this question to you lovely viewers is losing a dog worse than a breakup just share your opinions in the comment section. Let's see if you side with Justice Flip and Richie on this part. Richie, it's, it, the conversation is really getting interesting and I'm loving it. So, bro, um, wh- at what point did you realize that you have to enter into um, the bull mastiff more? Because um, from where the conversation got to, you've got um, shepherds, you've got 12 million old CDs and all of that. So, at what point did you say you are going to breed all mastiffs and then i've seen some medals here we're also going to talk about all of them it seems you've also bagged some awards for yourself so <laughs> let me ask you at what point did you um, think of considering the bull mastiffs and the rest because i can see you really love them well there is this guy fred or Paul, successful kennel he's the uh, owner of um, the late icon yeah he made me love bull mastiffs I even got um, this guy Buffon from him, like last year, last two years, December, December thirtieth. Yeah, I got Buffon from him, and I think Buffon is the first Bumastiff that I, I bought. Just last two years. Uh, yeah, just last two years. And there have been, and there are lots of Bumastiff here within the two years frame. Yeah. yeah. 
what did um fred fred if you're watching big shout outs to you successful kennels right yeah. big shout outs to you mr fred and what what did he do that made you love bull mastiffs why was it something about the dog icon i've heard stories about the legendary ah. icon yeah what, what did he do that really got you to love them icon was very huge very very huge good looking well treated and like his relationship with human i loved it so anytime i see him vibe with icon i said no i have to also own a bull and steve and then experience the same vibe so i chose not to get it from anywhere but from him so that i could get the iconic bloodline and see how it works before getting any other bloodline yeah so right here i have like uh, four of the icon bloodlines here wow not just buffon no i have david who's also the icon bloodline i have stephanie who is also the icon bloodline and then watma wow Buffon too wow this is beautiful so that was when you got to and you mentioned something earlier that you also own your polytan master but right now there's just i think there's one here yeah 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 i used to have three like kobe and some other two females like um that was uh, rena and uh, chantel but rena and chantel passed out yeah i imported kobe from russia moscow yeah and rena too was from russia would you like to disclose the amount that one is optional if you would like to disclose well, Kobe came here. I think Kobe has been here for like five years. That time, it's around thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand, around twenty fifteen. Yeah. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Uh, imported from Russia. Imported from Russia. Yeah. And what about these? from the sadnate bloodline sadnate bloodline wow nice one nice i can see he's a very powerful bloodline yeah, yeah in russia i think he's the best sadnate are the best um neapolitan bloodlines in russia and rena too also came from large power the second best neapolitan breeder in russia wow 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 so you like to deal with the champion bloodlines and stuff like that me if i'm doing something i go all out go all out i go for the best so me i proudly always tell people that i have the best boom mastiff in ghana not in kumasi always aim high i really I, I love that vibe yeah i love that vibe hi like the the boom mastiffs that i have here you can go around and check other boom mastiffs you see people owning boom mastiff calling their dogs boom mastiff but when you say boom mastiff it's from richie's kennel Trust me. Nice. I, lo- I love the way you say it with much confidence. Anything you do, you have to believe in yourself. Because I know what I'm talking yeah. about. I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you say boom, Steve, don't go anywhere. Go to Richie's Kennel. Nice one. If you if you want boom, Steve, don't go anywhere. You come to Richie's Kennel. I'm loving today's interview. I'm loving the vibe right from the start. Checking out the dogs here. We'll be we'll be checking them one after the other. My favorite part. We'll get to see the dogs. And trust me, I've spotted one dog here that I've fallen in love with. <laughs> You're going to check them out. But bro, um, there are these um toy dogs, Maltese's here. At what point did these um toy dogs also come in? Because it seems you love big dogs. Yeah. So at which point did it set in? The toy dogs came in. PT, there is this guy, PT Agon, Agon Kennel. Yeah, he's also a brother. We met two breeding, but we became brothers. Like, I used to see him have Caucasian Shepherd and the toy dogs. Like, he had some certain toy dog, I think it was a Lassa, called Jennifer. Very aggressive. So when I got there, I said, wow, like, it's a toy dog, but when the toy dog says you won't enter the house Charlie you won't mm-hmm. so I, I told him Charlie I want this dog I want something like this he told me okay you relax so there was a time I visited a friend and I saw him having some I said ah, Charlie I want one of this so we talked about it and he sold one to me for like 600 or 700 Ghana yeah back then so I got it I used to keep it in my room from there I got Luca Modric, I got happy and 
It was the f- it was the first one you got that littered all of these dogs here. No, that first one that I got, I gave it out to a friend okay. because it turned out to be a little bit troublesome later. So after letting it go, that letting it go didn't mean that I wasn't going to do the toy dog thing again. Just that I wasn't comfortable with that one. So I gave it out then. I brought in Luka Modric. Luka Modric is dead, but his replacement is here now. Yeah. So after I got Luka Modric, I got happy That's right happy here. Happy right there. Wow. I don't know if my camera can capture happy. Yeah. Happy. Wow. She's like mm-hmm. 45 years old. 45 years old now. Check yeah. check happy out. Check happy out. 45 years old. Wow. So she is the like should I say the mother here? Yeah, I would say she's the mother. She like a lot of the toy dogs here came through her. Wow, that's happy right there. Wow, I love, I love, I love happy. I love happy. Nice one, bro. So um, I've seen the medals here. I want us to talk about the medals right now. How did all of these medals come about? And uh, I don't know if you can show it to the camera for them to see. Yeah. Then we take a look one after the other. We have medals. We won um, this one. We won it with a French Mastiff called General. I would say back then in 2012 to 2015, I would say it was the biggest and the best French Mastiff in the whole of West Africa. Not Ghana, the whole of West Africa. From 20, let's say 2012 to 2015. Yeah. The Neapolitan Mastiff. No, French Mastiff. Oh, French Mastiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned. Yeah. Wow. And this is Ashanti Dog or Pet Show Ghana and um, Show Ghana 2013 and the winner. Wow. Nice one. And what about these other ones? Yeah, this one's to uh, we won this one with the same dog general in Accra, Accra Dog Show, including this. Best groom dressed. Yeah. This was at the Accra Dog Show as well. I think okay. that one we won, the, at the Accra Dog Show, we won four medals. Wow, wow, wow. wow. I've, I've misplaced some. Okay, okay, yeah. nice one. Wow, two awards at one show. We won four. We won four, 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 four. Yeah, yeah. We won the overall best dog. We won the best groom breed dog. We won the uh, best Mastiff of the year. And we won the, I've forgotten the other one. We won four, yeah, on that very day. We won four, four awards on one day. Nice one. And what about we, these we ones? We went from Kumasi to Accra and conquered the whole of Accra and came back to Kumasi. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. The power of Richie's kennel. The power of Richie's kennel. Nice one, Richie. And what about these ones as well? This ones to we won them uh, in 2019 with the toy dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the toy dogs, Luca Modric and Sergio Ramos. They won us these three medals. Well, I think this one is cutest dog show, report dog show 2019. This one is um, best crossbreed, crossbreed dog of show. And this one is also uh, the best toy dog of show at the report dog show. Yeah, we won these three medals with Modric and Sergio Ramos. But unfortunately, they are not here with us now. Modric passed away and we, we gave Ramos out. Wow, wow, wow. This is this is beautiful. The, I know it's passed, but let me give you my congratulations right now. Congratulations for all of these achievements, bro. I really love this. Uh, lovely viewers, we'll be wrapping the interview very soon and we get to my favorite part. I know you can't wait to hear their names. He has already mentioned a few. But I will check the individual dogs one after the other that's my favorite part but then before we we we, we get to see them i like richie to um give us his um, final words and say something to anybody any shout outs you like to give and all of that and let, let me um let you hit on this one say you um you're giving an advice to upcoming breeders what you would have to say to them because there are some people who are as young as nine years 11 years who say they call me and they're like some want to be dog breeders some say they watch the videos they love it some are even into the breeding there's one um one young guy is in a a cry his name is um i think 
I, I name is Tyrese or something. Big shout out to you if you're watching Caliber K9. He's as young as nine years, and this guy has he's got pedigree dogs. It's 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 amazing. He will be on the show very soon. He will be on the show very soon. So if you're watching Tyrese, big shout outs to you. He's really doing a great job. So which um advice would you give to these young children? I'll tell them to keep on working hard. Breeding is not something easy. Let me tell you the truth. It's not easy. It's something very, very difficult. Some people think if you didn't get any job to do, that's when you have to breed. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you, it's never true. Me, what I think is, do what you have passion for. Because doing your passion, you don't get tired. And breeding gives very good returns. But in the first place, you have to have get passion for dogs before you decide to breed. Some will come because they have heard there is a whole lot of money in it. Trust me, if you came because of money, you won't last. Yes. Because see me breeding for like 19 or 18 years now. I can go four years without getting a single puppy. But because I love them, still I work. So, they should work hard, be determined, be focused. Don't listen to what people will tell you. Know what you want and go for it. Nice one. Know what you want and go for it. Big shout-outs to all the kids who have been watching. The Tyrese's, the DBK Kennels, the Dora Bulls. Those who've been commenting, all the young chaps right there. He's got a, a great advice right there. And bro, um, I like you to say... Your, 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 your final words that we get to introduce the dogs. Your final words and if you want to say a shout out to anybody, you just hit it up. Okay, okay. I, I will say everybody to, I, I will ask everybody to subscribe to uh, GH Dog Blogger. GH Dog TV and you follow. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe to it and follow. It's got, like, it's, and uh, the, the, the people enter into everywhere that there are quality dogs where you want to find what you want to see they will take you there so just follow yeah lovely viewers that's awesome you heard what he said he said subscribe to gh dogs if this is coming from richie scanner and then you follow us on all of our social media handles on facebook instagram and now we are on twitter as well at gh dog blogger lovely viewers you can see this beautiful dog right here this dog is loving me i can't wait to get um we get to see all of them and all of that so we get to my lovely part my favorite part we get to see the dogs come on don't go anywhere stay tuned So, um, lovely viewers, we're here, we're about to check out all the dogs. He's going to introduce them to us. So, bro, what's the name of this dog? This guy is King Kobe, a pedigree Neapolitan imported from Russia. Wow, pedigree. Is it Kobe Bryant? Did you name him after Kobe Bryant or what? No, Kobe Trey. I have a friend in the U.S. He's mm -hmm. Kobe Trey, so I named him after Kobe Trey. So, how old is he? Kobe is like five years now. Wow, he's old. Right now, he's the oldest dog. Yeah. oldest dog in the kennel yeah. Kobe. So what do you like about Kobe? Kobe is very friendly obedient and he's a money making machine wow <laughs> nice one lovely viewers that's Kobe right there Okay, bro, and what about our lovely friend here? Yeah, he's David. I named him after the David in the Bible. Oh, wow. Yeah, he came to kill Goliath. So this guy is also here to kill every Goliath in his way. Yeah. Oh, wow. David, yeah. Nice. So, so what do you like about um, David? I was, I was about to say Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> David likes to pack a lot. That's one thing I like about him. And he'll be 10 months on the 28th. Wow, 10 months old. Yeah, 10 months old. Wow, lovely viewers. Check out, check out David. He's a male. Wow, check him out. David, 
pose for the cam. Dave, pose for the cam. Dave, pose for the cam. Wow. Nice one. That's David right there. Okay, boy, what about our lovely friend? I think she's a female. Yeah, she's Kiki. She's wow. uh, 24 months old. That's two years. Two years, yeah. And, and what do you like about Kiki? Kiki is very aggressive, very wild, like the security type of dog. Yeah, so I like that about her. Wow, so that's Kiki. Kiki, yeah, pose for the camp. A, a very good mother as well. Very, very good mother. Wow. Boomastiff. Yeah, Boomastiff. Nice one. And bro, what about our friend here as well? Yeah, he's Mufasa. Mufasa, is it the Lion King Mufasa or Palago Mufasa? The Lion King Mufasa, yeah. What do you like about Mufasa? Mufasa is very good at mating. Very, very good at mating and gives solid puppies and high number of puppies. Bro, that reminds me, I didn't let you drop your social media handles and your phone number. So just in case somebody wants to link up with you. Yeah, you can... Link up with me on IG or Facebook, like Richie's Kennel, mm -hmm. that's the name, or the number 0243 Take the number again. 0243 Nice one, nice one. You just pick his number, follow him on social media, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Richie's Kennel, R-I-C-H-Y, and then with the S. With a, yeah, hyphen, X, mm -hmm. and Kennel. Nice one, Richie Skeno. And this is Mufasa, right? How old is Mufasa? Mufasa is like 27 months, like three or three months. Wow, lovely dog right there. Mufasa, pose for the camp. is Buffon. Yeah. I call him the best boomer Steve in Ghana. The mm -hmm. best boomer Steve male in Ghana mm -hmm. right now. Nice one. Buffon. Yeah. Wow. So why did you name him Buffon? Is it I um, named him after the Juventus goalkeeper. Well you love the goalkeeper very much. Yeah, I love him like he put his potential mm -hmm. in the post. That's why I named my guy after him. Wow, nice one. And what do you like about Buffon? He's also aggressive mm -hmm. and he doesn't give up. He's not scared of anything. Like the way he's brave. Yeah, I like him. How old is Mufasa? Buffon. Sorry, Buffon. Buffon is like 19 to 20 months. Yeah, 19 to 20 months now. Wow. That's Buffon he'll right be, there. He'll be two years on the 24th of October. 24th of October, he will be two years. Wow. Wow. I love him. I love him. I love him. Wow. Bro, and now what about these beautiful dogs right here? Yeah. Come. This one right here mm -hmm. is Boatima. Okay. Yeah. She got, they, they are twins. Mm -hmm. They go um, seven months last 14th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, lovely ones. Wow, Watima and and Stephanie. What my Watima and Stephanie? I named them after my sister. Okay. Yeah, this one is Stephanie, and the other one is Watima. How old are they? They are seven months old. They got seven months last fourteenth. Wow, seven months old bull mastiff. Yeah. Yeah, seven. Nice months. one, lovely viewers. Check them out. Check them out. Stephanie and Watima, beautiful dogs right there. Okay, so we are, we, are, we are right here with the toy dogs, my gang, the toy dog gang. I have a special thing for toy dogs and I've got a favorite here. I don't know, is it a he or a she? A she. Wow, she loves me. I love her too. Wow. So what's her name? Adum. Adum. 
um, um, which um, translates as grace. Grace, yeah. Wow. Nice word. And how old is Adam? Adam is like three years old. Yeah. Very beautiful female. And what about all of these ones as well? Well, this one too is happy. Happy. Yeah, the mother of all. Wow. Yeah, she's like four to five years old now. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And what about this one? I don't know if you could come. Yeah, this one too is gospel. Gospel, gospel. Yeah. Gospel, let our camera capture you, please. Gospel wow. It's like 14 months old now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a female. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So that's gospel. Eric, come. And Eric. Eric, come here. Good boy. Okay. And this guy right here is Eric. He's also like 12 months old now. Yeah. Wow. An amazing boy. I love wow. him. Yeah. Is he your favorite of the toy dogs? <laughs> the toy dogs, they are all my favorites. I love all the all of them. Yeah, but I, I said he's amazing because of the way he's aggressive. He's like the way he backs. He's I, I call him my security. He's an informant. Wow. Yeah. That's why he's an undercover. When everything is going on, he will let you. Sharp. Sharp. Yeah. Nice one. And what about the others? I think there are four more. Come on. Wow. Good, good, good boy. This guy is also called Zeus. Zeus, like the Greek the Greek Zeus. Yeah. He's also an amazing boy. He's 11 months old now. Yeah. So why, did, why did you choose Zeus? Because there's Poseidon, there's Hades. Well, Zeus... I used to have a friend who had a dog named Zeus. So I, I like I took the name from there. Okay. Yeah. And this girl right here is also Esther. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's also seven months old. Yeah. Esther Pedigree seven months Maltese. old. Yeah, Pedigree Maltese. Wow, Pedigree Maltese. Yeah. Esther, please pose for the cam for me. I don't know if my camera can capture wow. Esther well. And this one is Luca Modric. Luca Modric. Yeah. Wow, nice one. The Real Madrid midfielder. The you Maestro. support Real Madrid? Yeah, I'm a diehard Madrid fan. I'm a Liverpool fan. You scored us in the final. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's Luca Modric. Also seven months. Yeah, a, a brother to Esther. Esther. Yeah. This one too is called Queen Shiva. Queen Shiva, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And what do you love about Queen Shiva? Queen Shiva too backs a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I like about her. I like wild dogs. So if you like if you are like a wild dog, you like bark and stuff, yeah, mm-hmm. I like you. Yeah. Wow. She's she's also like seven to eight months old. Seven to eight months old. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is the last of the dogs here. So I think in this kennel, we have like 16 dogs currently, right? Yeah, 16 dogs, yeah. Richie, um, um, it's, it's been great having you on the show. Thanks for being on my show today. Thank you too. We are very honored having you here. And I'm hoping we'll, you'll come back on the show some other time with some different set all together. Yeah, the, the next time that you're going to be here, you will see something amazing. Something different. Something different. A whole different vibe. Lovely viewers, Richie is assuring you that the next time I'll be here is going to be a different vibe altogether. Lovely viewers, this is where we are bringing today's show to an end. But then, if you are new and this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, please kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell to always be updated whenever we drop yet another amazing dog content. This is the channel for dog lovers. And even if you're not a dog lover, after watching just one video on our channel, you're going to turn out to be a, 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 like a big dog lover and this program is proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and puppy milk link up with them 0244-820-350 for your feed your puppy milk and all of that and if you also want to contact us and you want us to visit your kennel you want to be on the show as a dog lover come and flaunt your dog just link up 054-337-8662 or 055-328-4056 you can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, GH Dog Blogger, and on Twitter at 
at gh dog blogger as well this is where we bring today's show to an end my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger catch you another time gh dog tv your number one tv for all dog lovers